Let's say you decide that you do need to change, you do need to adapt to your environment. Well, organisational ecology would argue that, first of all, change is hard to initiate and to design and, and to realise the implementation of change is very difficult. It can also be costly, and this is, of course, disruptive on the main routines that the organisation is used to. And in the process of changing, you may forego or have to forego different opportunities that might arise because you're going down a route of attempting to change. The advantage with selection is that you don't change and there are therefore no costs incurred in the process of change. But if fundamentally the environment thinks that you're doing all right, in other words that you're fit for the environment, so we have a decision to make. And so the different components of the model interact with each other, as you can see, reinforcing or undermining each other's objectives and intended effects. But changes to one of these dimensions will have implications and repercussions